In this video, I will show you how to send emails using the SMTP protocol and mail kit. Then in the next video, I will show you how to send emails with attached files. You can find the link of the next video in the description. To send emails, we need an SMTP server. You can use the SMTP server of your Gmail account or the SMTP server of your website. But in this video, I will show you how to use the SMTP server of Brivo, which is free. So here we need to create an account, then we can go to the dashboard. Then let's click on Transactional, then Settings, then Configuration. Then here we will use the SMTP server. So let's click on Get your SMTP key. So this is the SMTP server, this is the port number, this is the username, and this is the password. And to make it visible, we can click on this icon. Now we need to save these details in the application. So here I created this simple application that uses Razor Pages. Let's go to AppSettings.json and let's create a new key. Let's call it SMTP Settings. Then let's save the SMTP server, the port number, the username and the password. Then we need to install a package called MailKit. So let's make a right click, then manage NuGet packages, then browse, and here let's write MailKit. Let's select this package and let's install it. Let's close this window. Then let's create a service that allows us to send emails. So first let's create a new folder. And let's call it services. Then let's create a new class. And let's call it email sender. Then let's create fields where we will save the data that we have in appsettings.json. So we need the SMTP server, the port number, the username and the password. Then let's create the constructor that allows us to fill these fields using the data of appsettings.json. So in the constructor we need this service which is iConfiguration and it allows us to read the data of the file appsettings.json. So we will initialize the server name, the port number, the username and the password. Then let's create a method that allows us to send emails using MailKit and SMTP. So we can create the method send email. It requires the name of the sender, the email address of the sender, the receiver name, the receiver email address, the subject, and the message that we want to send. So to send emails using MailKit, we need to go to the documentation website of MailKit. So here we can write MailKit. Then we can go to the first link, which is at GitHub. And we can follow this example. So here we can create this message. We can set the sender, the receiver and the subject. And here we can set the message that we want to send. Then we need to send the message. So we need to create this client, which is an SMTP client. Then we need to connect to the SMTP server at this port number. We need also to authenticate the user. So this is the username and this is the password. And then we can send the message. So if the email is transmitted successfully, we can display this message on the console. Otherwise, if we have any error, then we can display this message on the console. Now let's use this service to send emails. So let's go to the index page. Let's delete this paragraph and let's create a simple form with the submit button. So this is a simple form that will be sent using the post method 
and we only have the submit button so when we click on this button we need to send the email so let's go to the page model let's delete this field we don't need it let's delete this line as well and we don't need this service so we can delete it but we need a configuration that allows us to read the file upsettings.json let's save it into a field then let's create the on post method so in this method we need to send the email so here we can create the sender name so we can suppose that this is the name of the sender this is the email address of the sender this is the receiver name this is the email address of the receiver so this is my email address to be able to receive the emails this is the subject and this is the message that we will send to the receiver then let's send the email so we need to create this email sender and we need to provide it with the iConfiguration service that allows us to read the file upsettings.json then we can call the method send email let's run the application then let's click on send email let's check the console so here we can see that the email is transmitted successfully let's go to my email account and we can see that I received this email in the next video I will show you how to send emails with attachment files you can find the video link in the description